part three is a very short video looking at complex cognitive processes. I am Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University, Mankato. Very short. This is in the context of learning strategies and learning tactics. First of all, problem solving strategies. You'll see how this connects with problem based learning. Two important terms, algorithm and heuristic. They're two types of problem solving strategies. An algorithm is a specific set of steps that lead to a specific answer. Math is filled with algorithms. You follow the steps exactly and you get to that answer. Uh, computer programming is filled with algorithms. You follow the steps, you get to a predetermined answer. All right? They are good for well-defined problems. You don't, but however, in the real world, most problems are ill-defined. Uh, they don't lead to a specific answer. Uh, heuristics are general problem-solving strategies that can be used in a variety of situations. They're good for ill-structured problems, the kind that are found in reality. Like, how do I get this ball in the hole? How do I create a advertising campaign, etc., etc. Uh, it has specific steps, but it leads to general answers, and there's no single answer. There's no one answer. There's many answers. Things that get in the way or hinder problem solving. First of all is functional fixedness. That is, you have a problem, you can see only one use for something. Uh, for example, you see a screwdriver, you can't imagine any other use for that screwdriver other than to screw in holes, but it can pry, you can pound, you can do a lot of stuff. Response set. That is, you tend to respond in the same way to all problems. That happens in education quite a bit. We think that a standardized test is the answer to all problems. If you have, if all, if all you have is a hammer, the whole world looks like a nail. Problem in education? Oh, more testing. Or more standards. Oh, problem in education? More standards. More laws. More rules. Parochialism. Inflexibility. Seeing things from only one perspective. You can't think outside the box. Lack of knowledge. Knowledge enables you to see things from many perspectives and to have associations. A lot of knowledge helps you with problem solving. It's hard to problem solve in an area of which you know little. I cannot problem solve in the area of finance because I know nothing about finance. And lastly, an unwillingness to take risks. You want to play it safe. Uh, these are all things that gunk up the works or hinder problem solving. And here endeth the lesson.